Hello everyone and welcome to a short demonstration of the new features in Inbox AI. For those who don't know Inbox AI, it's a simple macOS a a tool that allows you to create custom audio commands, uh, process incoming email, and um, uh, take a screenshot and capture any information that is on the screenshot. So a very simple example that I use a lot is for instance to capture information from stuff on Slack. You simply press a hot key, uh, drag uh, what you want to capture, and you can see it uh, showing up inside of Tana. Now, Tana is just one of the endpoints. You can you can send information to Obsidian, to Todoist, or to Notion, to anything basically that has an API. If you open these things, it's quite simple. You fill in the API key, um, and you should be done. And you can create your own integrations by editing and creating them. And you can see you can go quite complicated, but luckily you don't need to do that. You just need to fill in your API key. Now, that's just a simple example of the screenshot command, but there's a lot more to be had, especially if you put audio into the mix. So this is the audio command, and you can again extend it uh, into anything you want. You can see it has quite a lot of capabilities already. So let's see uh, how these work. Um, add the, a reminder for me to pick up flowers uh, next week to Tana. So in this case, it will use the send to Tana, and it will send it into Tana with a uh, to-do item. But you can see you can do many, many, many more things. So let's show a few others. Can you send an email to my mother that uh, I'm about to send her flowers tomorrow and I would, would like for her to remain at home so they don't go to waste? This actually uses the, uh, let's see, um, the draft email here, here function. And here you can see, ha, huh, this is the email to my mother. You can also get selected text um, and you can paste at the cursor. So that means that you can do stuff like, can you translate the selected text to Dutch? And again, you can configure and make this your own uh, in any way you want. So in this case, finally, the email was turned into Dutch. This also works for a lot of other stuff, like in this case, the selected text. But if we can go back into the Slack message that we had before, in this one, we can see that we can also say, take a screenshot and uh, insert a reply to the um, uh, message by Michael. So this is a little bit more advanced command, and it will take a little bit longer because taking a screenshot and parsing it with AI is actually kind of a slow, uh, slow f uh, thing for now. But here you can see, cool, this is actually a reply to that message and it pasted it right in. Again, these are some of the embedded examples. Uh, you can go into each of these and see how they actually work. So for instance, to ask perplexity, simply saying like, okay, uh, can you ask perplexity what is the best flower shop in the east of the Netherlands? Now, in this case, it should open perplexity and ask that question. And you can get this information right here. And if you look into the actual command, it's quite simple. It simply does an open of a URL and you can put in some query stuff. The underpinnings of Inbox AI are quite powerful. And of course, these are just the screenshots and the, um, uh, the audio commands. You can also process incoming email. So in this case, it's um, uh, an email processor that's built right into Apple Mail. And you can do stuff like um, anything from a recruiter, move it to junk. And this goes into the email categories and you can do all kinds of cool stuff like um, uh, setting background colors, flagging stuff, marking it as red, these kinds of things. All in all, it makes for a very interesting companion app with Tana.